very close to Ascension uh, Awareness, a board mm. with AGI power, they can feel, they can make decisions, they can learn by themselves. Can they be jealous? Can they be angry? I don't know yet. But it, once it comes to the point, then we're in trouble. Uh, yeah. Because, yeah, they're so much more clever than us. Yes. They know everything in the minute. We will be irrelevant. Okay? I'm, I'm happy because I won't be allowed. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Multi levels of. Uh, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Differences of uh, uh, emotional states, uh, you know, uh, individual tendencies. All this time, I think only the human is able to digest. Yeah. Based on the uh, interaction and, and that human intelligence, manusia, manu, mm. that which has a mind mm. which can think. Now this this mind is what operates with other human beings. Mm-hmm. Right? Whereas with a machine, I wouldn't know how whether the machine would understand. Maybe in time, but for now, I think still some way to go. Mm. Still some way to go. But I think we have a good start, lah. Actually, yeah. Well, they are looking at they call it the AGI. You know, a- AGI means uh, it's very uh, very close to ascension uh, awareness. A board mm. with AGI power, they can feel, they can make decision. They can learn by themselves. Can they be jealous? Can they be? Angry? I don't know yet. But it, once it comes to the point, then we're in trouble. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, <laughs> because so we have created. Yeah, they're so much more clever than us. Yes, they know everything in the minute. We will become irrelevant. Uh, irrelevant, exactly. So I, I, I hope it won't come that day. Because seriously, we will be irrelevant. Okay? I'm, I'm happy because I won't be allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Nobu is now multilingual. Ah, all right. All right. Now you can converse in Tamil. Malayalam, Singhala, Chinese, Thai, Burmese, Tibetan, even Swahili. Very impressive. So, yeah. what what's the implication of this development? You know, especially for gra- grassroots outreach. Yes. <laughs> uh, first reaction, it is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, in just a hundred years ago, we had to have monks literally taking a boat and going, you know, to 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 spread the Dhamma, and here we have. The, the the digital age where all this you stay here and everything comes to you the fantastic exciting then you stop and think is it necessarily that good because <coughs> the information can be transferred but can the emotions and the understanding can that be transferred as well can a uh, AI bot lead a being towards enlightenment. Do I have a big problem of this? When the Buddha taught, began to teach, he chose to speak the Magadhi. He spoke the language of the people rather than the language of the Vedas, which would Sanskrit, which needed, which was reserved for the educated. But he chose to reach out to common people using Magati, which becomes Pali and so on. Okay, now, but a human being was involved. Okay, now using AI, we are going to use these languages. Yes, but the problem of these languages will be translating from the original Pali. All right, let's just take the word karma. Even a hundred years ago, when this word karma was taken to the West and translated into English, it gave a lot of <coughs> connotations, which were guided by the Christian background of that language. So, when it talked about karma, the impression was given that it is all about negativity. It didn't talk about the power that the human has to control his nature, because translation problem. Yeah, dukkha was just translated as suffering. But we know that in Buddhism, dukkha has a very much wider, much more uh, subtle meanings. Okay, when these languages translate. They are going to translate into their own culture, the Sinhalese culture. Okay, thousand of years they are okay, but when you talk about Swahili, mm. now the Swahili experience is so far removed from the Varanasi experience. Mm. How will these translations of words change the Dharma? Mm. Will the origin now more and more are opting? Karma we don't translate anymore. Dukkha we don't translate anymore. We use the original word mm-hmm. and make attempts to Explain. understand yeah. it. Mm. Uh, okay, so uh, 
I have very positive uh, reactions to this. It's good. More people can say it's not uh, controlled. It's not the privilege of a few. Yeah. Yeah. It becomes universal as predicted by the Buddha. It will become universal, but it carries with it its own danger because the danger is when translations are made like this, we are moved away from the final goal of Nirvana. Does these translations, do they help you to understand Nirvana better, enlightenment better, or is it going to confuse you more? I noticed, uh, you know, uh, recently the International Buddhist Confederation was very excited when Nobu became multilingual yeah. because we tested with the, even India High Kong. Right. And that's the reason why we have this August 10 Asada, yes, Asada Burinima event because of this multilingual cap capability, you know. Yeah. So what happened, we noticed um, in, in, in the Indian nationals, okay, Indian nationals, um, uh, especially from the in, uh, International Buddhist Confederation, when they found out <coughs> and they tested themselves. Telugu, uh, as in the Indian subcontinent. Uh, India, from Indian, uh, the Indian nationals. Like, All right. right. Um, I, when you say Indian nationals, Indian subcontinents could be Nepali also. Could be, uh, uh, okay. uh, you know, Fair the enough. Bhutanese, South, you know. South Asia, yeah. yeah. They tested it. They tested Bengali. Hmm. They tested Marathi. Hmm. Marathi has the highest popul in the Buddhist population of the whole of India. You know, seventy hmm. percent of the one percent Buddhists in India yeah. reside in Maharashtra. Yeah, and they speak Marathi language. Uh, very weak. So the monks, they teach the Buddhism in Marathi. All right. So Marathi was a big thing. You know, when when Nobu was able to converse Dharma in Marathi, they were so excited. 